Waiting for the run of Jordi Alba back into Antoine Griezmann. Still Griezmann. Griezmann's on a great run and he scored. How has he gone through those defenders? He literally went past Virgil van Dijk and Antonio Valencia. Messi into Usman Dembele who cuts inside. Finds Leo Messi again. That's a brilliant pass. Messi with the finesse shot. Messi with the goal that could potentially win us the Spanish Cup. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to the 20th episode of the Barcelona Career Mode series. And this is the Season 1 finale and in today's episode we've got easily our biggest game of the series so far. Champions League final against Juventus. This is it guys. This is the game that can decide whether we've won the treble or not. A game against Juventus, a repeat of the 2015 Champions League final. It is going to be an epic game and I'm super excited to bring this episode to you guys. If you guys are excited for this episode, you know what to do. Make sure you drop a like on this video. Can we smash over 800 likes? That would be absolutely insane. And if you are new to this channel, you know what to do. Subscribe for more FIFA 18 content. And obviously follow me on Twitter and all my other social media links will be in the description. But having a look at the way we've got to this Champions League final. We beat Feyenoord 5-1. We got through Bayern Munich 7-3. Manchester United were a difficult opponent. It was on away goals. We got through them 5-5 it was. An amazing comeback from us. But yeah, our journey to this final was epic. And looking at some of the stats of this year's Champions League, Messi the top scorer with 10 goals. You know, Dybala has a chance to overtake Messi, but he'll have to score four goals against us in the Champions League final. We ain't letting that happen. Assists, we have Dembele as our top assister, with Messi also having a chance to become a top assister because he's like one assist behind Dembele. In terms of clean sheets, it's Buffon leading the way. No chance for Testegan to overtake him. That's how the Champions League's looking. It's gonna be an epic final. Before we get into all that good stuff, we've got to find out who our final player of the episode is for this season and it's Leo Messi who obviously was the catalyst to bring us out of that Manchester United tie. He was brilliant and hence is your player of the episode. Moving on to the final press conference of the series. Don't worry press conferences will return when we do start off season 2 with this series. First question, do you have any special tactics for the Champions League final? No, I'm gonna be sticking to my 4-3-3 false 9. I might be tinkering with the lineup here and there but this 4-3-3 false 9 has done us good. Makes no sense to change our formation and tactics and confuse our players before a huge game such as the Champions League final. So 4-3-3 false 9 will be the formation we are going to be using in this Champions League final. We've got an interesting question before we jump into the game against Juventus. Do you think you could convert Grimaldo to more of a CM or CDM like Bayern did to Alaba? Nah, I'm not looking to do that. Grimaldo is going to be our left back once Alba retires. So that answers your question. That is it for our final press conference for this season one. We are now going to be playing Juventus in the Champions League final. It is going to be an epic game. It's going to be really difficult because we know they've got a good squad with the likes of Dybala and Higuain and all the other players. It's going to be a fun game. Let's win the Champions League. Champions League final against Juventus at the Stadio Olimpico. This is it. Our chance for the treble. We've won La Liga. We've won the Spanish Cup. We've now got a chance to complete the treble by winning the Champions League. In 2015, in Berlin, Barcelona did the same. They won the treble. Can we repeat it again? I'm hoping so we can. This is the lineup that I've gone for. And it's very strong. Griezmann, Messi, Dembele up front. Goretzka, Thiago and Busquets in midfield. Because of Iniesta's stamina issue, I'm going to be using him as a super sub after about the 60th minute. So he can, you know, end the game. Goretzka, of course, is phenomenal, so I'm sure he'll be able to do a good job instead of him. Album, Titi, PK, and Semedo in our defense. Testegen, who's been brilliant this season for us as our goalkeeper. It is a strong team, a team that can win the Champions League. Before we get any further, do let me know your predictions for this Champions League game down in the comments section below. Do you think we've got enough to beat Juventus? Let's get into this one and let's have a look at Juventus' lineup. This is the Juventus lineup, and they have made a few signings here and there. One front has been brought in. That looks pretty interesting. Higuain, Dybala up front. Costa, Bernardeschi, Matuidi, Kadira. Oh, it is a strong team, man. Chiellini, Benatia. They've got the legend himself, Gianluigi Buffon in goal. They've got a very strong team, man. This is going to be a tough game. Let's go and win the Champions League. Ball played into Messi. Is he onside? I think he is. He is. Thiago, Thiago shoots, 
Oh, it hits the post there. So unlucky. That would have been the opening goal in this Champions League and would have been a phenomenal goal as well. Juventus get very lucky there. Here go Juventus with Gonzalo Higuain who plays an over-the-top through ball. We do get it away. Now Goretzka finds Griezmann. Griezmann into Leo Messi. Here goes Lionel Messi. Early chance for us again. Messi in a great position. He's going to cut this one into Usman Dembele who shoots. And we've scored. Let's go. We've scored in the Champions League final. And the goal comes in the ninth minute from Usman Dembele. Messi squares it to Dembele. It takes a deflection from Alexandro. But who cares, man? We've scored in the Champions League final. We've taken the lead. Although we are far from done yet because... There's still a lot of work to do, but this gives us a massive boost and also lowers the morale of the Juventus players. Not the best of finishes there from Usman Dembele, but the deflection from Alexandro really helped him there. Messi plays it into Thiago Alcantara. Thiago with a bit of skills. Thiago decides to shoot big block from Benatia, but so far it's been all Barcelona. I haven't seen a single Juventus attack yet, which is good for us. Alexandra finds Higuain, who isn't offside. I thought he was offside for a moment there. It's still Higuain. Plays it back into Matuidi. This looks like some good build-up play from Juventus, but a deflection from Sergio Busquets puts it out for a corner. Great defending there from us. Thiago. Now Sergio Busquets, who plays it out wide in into Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba finds Messi. Messi in into Thiago Alcantara, who shoots, and we've scored the second goal of this game. We definitely have been the better side in this first half and deservedly we've taken our second goal of this game. Juventus in Champions League finals. Things don't really seem to work out for them. Against Madrid last year they bottled it. Against Barcelona they couldn't get the job done and now again they are suffering at the hands of our beautiful football. That pass from Messi was so good for Thiago and then the finish was emphatic. No chance for Buffon there. Higuain finds Douglas Costa. Oh no, that's poor defending from me. Still Douglas Costa who plays it into Gonzalo Higuain who's given Juventus some hope in this game. That was a great finish there from Gonzalo Higuain and Douglas Costa with the perfect weighted pass. This game has just come alive thanks to Gonzalo Higuain which isn't good for us. I thought it was going to be an easy victory after that second goal but looks like Juventus have other plans. This gets into Thiago Alcantara who's been superb in this game. Thiago gets another shot off and so close to making it 3-1. Thiago honestly has been the best player on the pitch so far. His runs from midfield have been just brilliant. His passing has been superb. Contender for man of the match in this game for sure. Well that is the first half done of this Champions League final. I'm not gonna lie it's been an entertaining one. We are in the driving seat though with a 2-1 result. But it could change. Gonzalo Higuain gives Juventus some hope. How good was Thiago in this first half, man? Creating so many chances for us. If he can, you know, keep up that level for the second half, it's probably going to be an easy win for us. We'll also bring on Andres Iniesta after about a 68th minute or so for maybe Goretzka, who isn't really having the best of games. Normally he performs so well, but in this final, maybe the pressure's got to him. Dybala finds Douglas Costa. This isn't good news at all. Douglas Costa with the shot. PK defends that so well. You know what, I've been critical of PK in a lot of games, but in this final, he's really stepped up and has kept the Juventus forward line at bay on most occasions. Making a couple of changes for the latter stages of this game, bringing on Andres Iniesta to play in the midfield role. Denis Suarez comes on for Thiago because Thiago's kind of getting low on fitness. We'll also bring off Jordi Alba and bring on Alex Grimaldo because I think he will definitely be a good fit for the latter stages of this game going up and down the field. Paolo Dybala, who we've kept quiet in this game, so I'm happy about that. Alexandra finds Douglas Costa out wide, which isn't good. Crossplayed into Stegen with a very crucial punch to put the ball out of the danger zone. Here we go on the attack to potentially end this tie. Messi into Andres Iniesta, plays it out wide into Antoine Griezmann. This is Griezmann's chance. Griezmann cuts inside, still Antoine Griezmann who shoots, but Buffon gives hope to Juventus. The score is still 2-1 and Juventus bring on Juan Cuadrado for Juan Cuadrado actually for Bernardeschi. An interesting substitution. Can he bring Juventus back into this game? Hopefully not. Andres Iniesta. Iniesta's found space, he shoots! Oh, that was above the crossbar. Just imagine Andres Iniesta getting the goal that seals our Champions League title. That would be such a great moment, man. 
We've just got a couple of minutes in terms of extra time to hold on to. Can we win the Champions League? Ball played into Antoine Griezmann. One last chance to end this tie. Maybe not, but we can't concede now. Surely we can't. Let's go, guys. We are going to be lifting this Champions League trophy. The treble has been completed. Gold from Thiago and Usman Dembele give us this year's Champions League. It's been a phenomenal game. That goal from Gonzalo Higuain gave them a bit of hope, but apart from that, they couldn't really do much and we created the most chances in this game and deservedly so we are champions of europe so champions of spain by winning la liga we've won the spanish cup trophy and now we've won the champions league if you add the spanish super cup trophy to this we have won four trophies this season which is phenomenal guys we've had a terrific season with Barcelona and I'm super excited for season two make sure you stick around until the end of the video because you guys will have to vote for your end of season awards nominees and all that kind of good stuff but it's time for Messi the captain of this team right now to lift the trophy obviously as Iniesta came on as a sub captain will be Leo Messi but I'm not too annoyed with that it's going to be Messi to lift this trophy and yes guys we are champions of Europe the treble has been achieved, champions of Spain, Spanish Cup winners and now champions of Europe winning the Champions League 2-1 against Juventus. Juventus put up a good fight but those early goals we scored coming from Dembele and Thiago, they carried us through that game and Thiago's goal man, he's so good in this game. He took a while to adjust to our team but once he did, oh my god he was good. Thought I'd show you guys the Europa League standings and you know who's won the Europa League basically and it's Arsenal and that means we'll be facing Arsenal in the UEFA Super Cup which is going to be an interesting game that will be at the start of season 2. Before we end the season I'm going to be showing you guys all the stats of my players this season the appearances, the goals, the assists, the clean sheets as you guys can have a look at it I'm just going to be talking about the season we've had with Barcelona it was amazing. We had a, you know, a, a bit of a difficult start to our season. It was tough against Real Madrid, the Spanish Super Cup, but we did win it ultimately. It was a high scoring tie. And then of course in the league up to like December, we weren't really at our best as we were struggling to find a formation that fits us and hence Real Madrid were top of La Liga. But in the episode where we did face them in our first league classico, everything turned around. We switched to the 4-3-3 false nine and suddenly we had a seven point lead over Real Madrid and that gap really helped us win La Liga because towards the end we started dropping points in La Liga but eventually that gap we created early on in the season came through and hence we won La Liga. Talking about the Spanish Cup, there isn't really much to talk about. We performed well in the cup and deservedly so lifted the trophy against El Zavigo after Messi did a madness in that game getting us through that one and besides that man Ultimately, we've had a phenomenal season. In the Champions League, we knocked out Bayern Munich, Manchester United and Juventus to win the tournament. We also faced Liverpool in the group stages as well, so it was a difficult way to the finals. All in all, it was a fantastic season. Let's hope next season can be even better. Can we do something that's impossible? That is to do back-to-back -back Champions League titles. To be fair, it isn't impossible. Real Madrid have done it recently. But for Barcelona, who haven't done it before in their history, it is an impossible task. But I'm looking to achieve that, guys. Back-to-back -back Champions League trophies. Can we do that, guys? That is going to be the aim for next season. Also winning La Liga and the Spanish Cup. And also the Copa Europe or the UEFA Super Cup. That is going to be a massive objective for us because I want to win as many trophies as we can. We are going to be making more improvements next season but before we talk anything about that let's just have a look at our board objectives and as you can see our manager rating is 97 at the end of the season. We still have a few weeks left so we might be able to complete that first youth development objective which is to grow a player from the youth academy by 10 points. I'm sure we'll be able to grow Diaz a bit more because I'll be training him this entire summer so Let's hope we do manage to achieve that and get a manager rating of 100. Now we look into the financial state of our club and a profit of £411 million this season. That is actually phenomenal. We've had a great season financially as well. Winning all those trophies have definitely helped in that. Hopefully some of the money we do have left, which is like about £60 million, will be added to next season's budget because next season, I think we still need to make a few improvements here and there. Now before... We end the season, it's time for you guys to vote for the end of season awards. I asked you guys whether we should do this and the majority wanted it. So basically, we are going to be rewarding or awarding some of the players who've been phenomenal for us 
this season. Starting with the first category, they're going to be five, which will be based on voting. There will be a few that I'll add in the next episode, which I'll be showcasing the winners. If you guys have any categories that you guys want me to include in the winners video, drop a comment and let me know. But the first award category is Best Defender, and your nominees are Samuel Umtiti and Jordi Alba. Both have been phenomenal. Jordi Alba, in terms of attacking, did so well for us, getting a lot of assists and goals as well, important ones. And Umtiti was a rock at the back. So you guys can vote by clicking the i button on the top right of your screen moving on to our next category we've got best midfielder two nominees in this one both new signings surprised to see no iniesta though he was not that great at this season in comparison to these two players tiago who scored in that champions league final and scored a lot of important goals for us besides that he was so good in midfield man especially the latter stage of the season so he's one of your nominee Goretzka all round was phenomenal coming on as a sub even when he started he started in the Champions League final gave a decent performance as well so you guys can vote for your favorite midfielder or the player that performed the best this season moving on to our third category and this one's I guess pretty straightforward best forward Dembele or Leo Messi I think we all know who's gonna win this one Messi scored 40 40 goals this season yeah and about like 24 assists Dembele's stats were brilliant, I think 23 goals as well, but I don't know, it's up to you guys. Click the I button to vote. Now we move on to another interesting category, which is Young Player of the Season. Three nominees for this one, Kasper Dolberg, Kloivert and Usman Dembele. The condition for being, you know, able to be nominated for this award was to be 21 years old or under. And these three fit the bill and have had a brilliant season. Kloivert was so good whenever I wasn't being able to use my players. You know, the first team players like Griezmann, like Dembele, like Leo Messi. He performed well, so he's one of your nominees. The same with Dolberg. And Usman Dembele as a first team player was brilliant, so you guys can vote for him. Usman Dembele gets nominated for his third award, which is Player of the Season. And this one's, I guess, pretty straightforward as well. Messi, one of your nominees. Dembele, one of your nominees. And Umtiti, I think, was our third best player. You could fit players like Ter Stegen, Busquets in there, but Umtiti was phenomenal this season, guys. He needs to be rewarded for his efforts. You guys can click the i button on the top right of your screen to vote now this is the first time i'm doing something like this so maybe i've included included sorry a few categories so if you guys want more categories just let me know down in the comment section and you guys can help out so that is it guys for this episode and that is pretty much it for season one of the barcelona career mode now season two it's gonna be a challenge can we build upon this treble can we improve this barcelona side that has won everything you might think there's nothing to improve, but you're wrong, man. There is a lot to improve because now Messi is getting 31 years old, which means he will drop in his overall dramatically. And eventually, next season, maybe we might have to replace him, which as irritating or as annoying or as... I don't know how to express that, man. It sounds... It's... We'll have to do it eventually, and it's going to make the series interesting as well as sad. We'll see what happens, but improvements definitely need to be made in midfield, maybe even in attack, maybe even in defense. There's a lot to do. Before we get into Season 2, though, we've got the World Cup with France. That is one objective we are looking to achieve. But that's basically it for today's episode. It's been a good one. Hopefully, you've enjoyed. Make sure you follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel and all the channel-related stuff. Subscribe if you are new to this channel. Make sure you drop a like on this video. 800 likes would be awesome and I'll see you guys next time.